Welcome to Nox A Carnival Volume 6 Festival in SJZ Drugstore in Berlin. And isn't that just a mouthful? Uh, I'm here with uh, Trunebra. And uh, first things first, guys, uh, please tell me the story of your band. Yeah, Trunebra is a uh, kind of a mix of several genres. We have uh, influences from Doom, we have influences from Black Metal, also from Death Metal. Um, it's because we have. Uh, yeah, members from all those different uh, styles, and uh, we we didn't come together and said we, we we didn't have an idea about what we want to make. Um, it evolved while uh, rehearsing and while jamming together, and now this is what came out. Um, it's pretty intense. It's atmospheric. It's very dark uh, in parts. It's very slow, about 80 BPM, and then it accelerates to 220 BPM. So uh, it's also very dynamic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And originally, uh, we two met each other in the bus, and that's <laughs> yeah. where the idea was born. So he asked me if I can join him or if I would like to do some project with him, and then from from there on, more and more people got involved. Yeah, automatically. Yeah, Marcel and I we played in uh, two different bands, but we played together some gigs, and uh, yeah, we knew each other. And yeah. in my, so I was playing in a black metal band before. I uh, was a bass player and uh, also singer, and uh, we lost our drummer. And we, we so our other guitarist also was very good drummer, and uh, so we had this room for rehearsing, and uh, we couldn't do anything. And then we met. And it was like, hey, let's start a project. And this is where we are now. And this is how many years ago? Four or five years ago already. Yeah, I think four years now. So four years now, yeah. It's already quite some time yeah. hmm? that has passed. <clears throat> okay, and uh, actually you describe your music as a living noise, an alliance of crushing doom and an unholy black metal. So uh, <laughs> is it uh, nowadays <laughs> difficult to differentiate your sound from other bands? Uh, um, yeah, it's not that easy because we don't fit into any fashion. Uh, you have this um, doom, which goes into a classic mood of doom. Um, right here in Berlin, there's a lot of stuff like that. And um, so we don't fit in this. So when, when you take the doom part, we're related to like uh, Swallow the Sun or October Tide. Uh, so this uh, northern style of doom. And uh, when it comes to black metal, uh, What's, what, Some what? atmospheric black metal, maybe. Yeah, like, perhaps in the Finnish, uh, no, the the Icelandic uh, style. Yeah, I, for example, like dark space a lot, and that influences me uh, yeah. as a guitar player. And yeah, I think it's more interesting to um, to mix different genres. I mean, not totally different. They are still all metal genres, but not do a pure death metal band or so. It's I think there are too many of those already, in my opinion. I think we, we, we uh, find out during the process where we, where we land on the end, you know. Uh, for example, I, I'm latest member of the band and I had no idea what they were talking about, the bands, yeah. you know, I'm we know old that. school. <laughs> uh, and, um, but, but I like the music, of course, and, and everybody puts his own thing to uh, together and then it comes a, a new symbiosis out yeah. so that's an interesting thing even yeah. some some parts of dark wave i would say also yeah yes. <laughs> Uh, what I thought was was very interesting. Uh, we had some concerts in the beginning where uh, people from every genre came there. There were two black metal guys, and uh, so I was really afraid about that. <laughs> and, um, mm. So uh, also some people who were in, in true metal or um, power metal, and so and they all came to us and they found anything in our music they could um, or it, it, it worked for them, and we got a very positive feedback from all those different people. So that makes me wonder, but um, it's very positive and I'm very happy about that. Okay, uh, most of all, uh, black metal as a genre has a uh, like heavy burden of yeah. history, but uh, what does metal music mean to you? Is it the lifestyle or does it have a deeper meaning to you? Uh, it depends on our members. Uh, so yeah. speaking for me, it's um, I heard this music in my uh, youth. And uh, I'm still listening a lot of the, uh, to this music, a, little, a lot of metal. Uh, when I'm working, I'm having my headphones on and I'm listening to metal. 
uh, in my daily job, uh, so, so or my daily job doesn't uh, have any um, yeah, influence or any, any touch points. And uh, so when you meet me on the street, you won't think that I've been playing in a black metal band and uh, yelling the hair out of my uh, voice. Oh, yeah. So it's not visible at you. Yeah. yeah. Same, same as me. I think it's, it's kind of a philosophy. I started listening with 16 and it's some years ago. And uh, of course, it's a, it's a certain attitude that uh, changes you know, your life at a certain point and, and you are different than you when you grow up with hip hop or something. It's totally different. If it's, it makes you kind of stronger, I would say, from, from my point of view. Um, yeah, and there are, I think there are some, some characteristics you only have when you listen to this music. Okay, let's talk about the Berlin metal scene because uh, we seem to get the kind of mixture of opinions. So what is your <laughs> view of the metal scene in here? Uh, who's the guy who joins most concerts? Yeah, it's our bassist player, so... Yeah. <laughs> no, it's he's hard not there, he's just on the stage with the uh, um, uh, Misery and he's playing with the other band. So um, It's hard to compare because uh, I personally don't have much comparison with other cities, but I would say that we have pretty much a live scene here and you can yeah. find all different kind of metal bands here if you look for it. But but if you compare it to general live concerts, it's still a small community, I think. If you compare it, uh, to for other example, music with, genres, yeah. with uh, Southwest with every Germany, time. for yeah, example, but, there, yeah. But the main problem is you have so many events here, so even if there are a few thousand people listening to metal, you have several uh, events, several metal gigs uh, in a week, and uh, the people. Yeah. Also, when, for example, at Swallow the Sun played here, there were just 150 people, which is few. That's sad. <laughs> and also Demonical and so on. It was just a few people, and it was this big city, but there are so many events that just, it's oversaturated. Okay, let's go to your lives. Your bass player is, uh, of course, playing at the moment, but uh, what kind of uh, experience is a Trunembra gig for a listener? Um, last time we played, uh, I was looking into the crowd and the people stood there, not moving, and I was thinking like, oh, uh, so bad mood. And they all were with their eyes closed. So it's very often, our music is very slow. And so, uh, most time we play at the last uh, the last slot uh, at the evening, and uh, we need a little bit more time. And uh, so it's late, and it was like two o'clock or half past three or anything, and the people were standing there with closed eyes, and uh, were slowly moving to the music. And uh, when I realized that, it was wow, okay, uh, cool. It has to be very intense for the people. Okay, and. Uh you already touched the Berlin scene, but uh, what are your thoughts on, for example, tonight's uh, event, uh, like a do-it-yourself uh, metal festival? Uh, could you answer that? Um, yeah, we are uh, grateful for the uh, that such events exist here, and um, we think it's very cool to have events that are. Um, completely done by the uh, organizers themselves and that don't cost any uh, money to get into and yeah. sadly it's, it's uh, a nice idea actually and it's, yeah. it doesn't happen that often in germany usually uh, you need to pay at least 20 bucks or 10 bucks to get in you know and it's the drinks are cheap uh, the location uh, costs basically nothing and it's all uh, made by by the guys and, and girls here uh, for free somehow. Yeah. It's and a great option. For small bands like us, this gives a big opportunity to get some more reputation or to get some more uh, people listening to us in yeah, an interview. So. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. And uh, talking about that, uh, what are your plans for future as a band? Uh, we are thinking about uh, releasing our debut album next year. So we have enough material and uh, it's just, we just have to go to the studio and to do it. Um, so that was also the plan for this year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we didn't uh, get it managed, but uh, next year I'm sure we're getting, done, uh, we're getting this done. 
So we, we have a lot of material. We have even too much material. Uh, we mm -hmm. could probably fill three albums, I think. If mm. Nah, not three yeah, albums. Four, in two ideas. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> two double albums. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, we will be looking out for that. And uh, thank you so much, guys. And break thank, you well. break thank you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.